All right, so this is a moment that I've been waiting for for um, quite a while now. I've been looking for a Sega Saturn for actively looking for months now, trying to find. I mean, you can easily just go on eBay and drop, you know, a couple hundred bucks and get like a really good version of one. But I wanted to not spend that much and still get a decent Saturn. And so, finally, uh, a few days ago, I found one on eBay. eBay was running a ridiculous 20% off site-wide uh, promotion. Like, 20% off pretty much everything. Except for, like, very rare exceptions, like gold and stuff like that. But anyways, so I managed to pick up a Saturn uh, for a really good price. Um and so now I just got it in the mail and I was going to share my experience with you. And uh, maybe we'll do some, we'll have some fun with it. So anyways, uh, let's get to the Unboxerino. <laughs> All right. So here it is. It's a beautiful priority mail postal service box. Uh, let's get into it. Got my. This is the best thing I got from working at Amazon was this thing. It's really good for opening boxes and stuff. It's got this little metal nub here that like allows you to pierce the tape without like getting into the box and cutting whatever's inside. And then you can Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now unfortunately I didn't get one in its like original box. This one's pretty much just the console with the cables and a controller and a game. Um, but it didn't have the box, which is fine. I really wanted the box, but looking back, look at the looking at the boxes for this model. I wasn't too impressed with the design of it, anyway. So, all right, here we go. Newspaper packing. I believe this shipped from Colorado, believe it or not. Anyways, oh, here's the game. It looks like. So, I got this from Retro Games Japan, 7% off your order if you go to that website. So, there you go. No, I'm not affiliated with these guys or anything like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wish I was affiliated with somebody. This looks like the controller. Now, the keen eye will spot already that this is not a American or North American Sega Saturn. Not bad, pretty decently wrapped. Here's the bad boy right here. Oh, I can't wait. All right, let me clean this off. Nicely done, you know, like meticulously packaged. That's a good thing. A lot of times I'll order stuff and it's just like, oh, Amazon's the worst. They are so bad at packaging stuff. Oh, looks like it's in great shape, too. And I have bubble wrap to play with later. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's everything I imagined. It is slightly yellowed. Slightly. Especially in the front. It must have been in a cabinet, you know, with the, and then this area was either exposed to the sun or maybe a little bit of smoke or something. But, oh, it's everything I dreamed of. There's a little, little dent divot right there. But there it is. It's in really good shape. So I got this for $80, essentially. It was $100 with the game, a controller, the AV cord, and um, power cord. Looks like a repro. Yeah, this looks like a repro cable, uh, which is fine. I ended up ordering an S-Video cable anyways for this. Um, and power cable... Feels pretty good. It's a little yellowed, but really, I mean, I'm not complaining. Thing's awesome. I love the color scheme. Pretty good shape, all considering. And then the game is just, uh, obviously it's Japanese. Puzzle Bobble 2X. Yeah, the reason I picked it really was basic. basically the condition of the console is what made me pick this specific package because they had a lot of these um like setups like console controller hookups with a game for anywhere between 70 to 120 dollars 
and I chose this one because of the price was decent and the con the condition was good ish. You know, I give it. I mean, I give it a B, B plus maybe on condition, and the game. I think my wife would actually like this game because she likes puzzle like uh she likes the bubble blast type games or whatever so you know she can play it we can play it together maybe if i get another controller but so there's that <clears throat> and also can't pick up a saturn without picking up one of these bad boys right here this is what's going to open it up for uh for pretty much i own a lot of legitimate copies of sega saturn games it's just that they are i lost them they're somewhere in storage somewhere <clears throat> So I have to uh, use my backups, unfortunately, you know, that and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to scratch all the dis discs that I own, but maybe one day I'll show you guys my uh, full 100% collection of Sega Saturn games that I own. And yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and fire this bad boy up and see if it works. And they also sent me this cat. I don't know if it was like some kind of promotion they were doing, but um, I think I'm going to send it back though. I don't really want one. I'm not really a big cat guy. I think they're kind of weird. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, send this cat back. Um, maybe get another game or something for it. I don't know. But definitely, definitely don't need a cat in this house. Huh. All right, so here we go. Let's get this bad boy fired up. Make sure it works properly before I before we start the modding process here. You know, I didn't really look, but the battery might need changed too in the uh, for the save games and stuff and the clock. Gold plated connector. I don't know what that means or anything. Okay, Let's get the controller hooked up. Like I said, nicely packaged from Retro Games. There is a lot of options out there for Sega Saturn games, or for Sega Saturn consoles, and this one I like because they're local. Well, they're they're in America, so and like the shipping was ridiculously fast. I ordered it on Saturday, and I got it on Monday. Free shipping, ridiculous! Like it was awesome. Sega. All right, right up front. You gotta love these front connectors. I mean, TVs nowadays, everything's like got to be so sleek. Like, there's no way they put an HDMI in the front of the TV. I mean, they might, but the, it's probably like the cheap, like, Emerson TVs or whatever. Found the pluggy Reno. Let's do video two. All right, here we go. I'm going to do a startup without the game in it, see what happens. Look at that. Beautiful. Japanese, I don't care. I love it. Disc is in really good shape. Alright. Okay, I think we're good. This game is very precise. Oh yeah, here we go, baby. Suck it, pink dude. Yeah, so far so good. It's working pretty good, though. Alright. I'm gonna get straight- I'm gonna get straight into modding this. While I'm have, I'm on that high of excitement, you know. So basically, all you need to get into a Saturn is this guy. No stupid tools, no warranty void stickers, none of that nonsense. All you need is a good old Phillips head. No special Nintendo bits. Little cushion there. Judging by the sound of that first initial crack, that's not really a crack, it's like a like a unsealing. I don't know if this has ever been opened. Probably gonna play some kind of cool trip hop, chill hop music while I do this and fast forward it slightly. Like all the other YouTubers do. What is what does chill trip hop chill hop sound like? It usually has some kind of like high pitched voice in the background like meh, 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 meh. No? no? No. I think that was it. Distracting. Oh! Yep. There's the lady. 
All right, so we're gonna flip her over and the screws will fall out. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. They have uh, definitely stepped up their getting into console game since then. That's the inside of Sega Saturn, ladies and gentlemen. CD drive, RF shield underneath the, the MOBO. You got the power supply there. Underneath this little area is for the uh, the MPEG decoder thing. And this is this is what we're looking for right here. It detects if the door's open on the CD um, the CD tray or the CD door. So I, I bought this. Um, I this is a special Sega mod tape. Um, uh, I sell it exclusively. So uh, it's only $19.99 plus shipping and handling and processing. So if you would like some Sega mod tape, just let me know. And uh, I'll see if I have any in stock. So you just take a little of the Sega brand mod tape. It won't work with any other kind of tape, no matter what you see on YouTube or anything. It's specifically for... Um, you have to specifically use this kind of tape or else it won't work. It's part of their copy protection or whatever. I think that worked. It probably won't even work. Watch. All right, so once you successfully tape this little CD uh, door detector with the official um, Sega tape, you need an official game that will boot on your console. So it's region, you know, according to the region. Obviously, this is Japanese, so it has to be Japanese. Then you need a burned copy of Pseudo Saturn or whatever uh, kind of firmware injection application you want to use. I'm using Pseudo Center Kai, custom uh, CD artwork there, and uh, you can tell I was excited about this. And then you need a burned copy of a game. Uh, I'm going to do Die Hard Arcade because I played this game so much in the arcade when I was a kid. I literally spent more than probably what you could have bought the game for new. I probably spent way more than 50 or 60 bucks in the arcade on that game, so... I legitimately feel like I bought it, you know, um, and also because I, uh, you know, I own every single Sega Saturn game that I will ever um, put on a backup disc. It's, they're backups, you know, that's all they are. You need one of these guys right here. Do a quick unboxing of this. Very 90s art. Uh, man, they sell enough of these things. I you think they would like make a cool artwork for this, but... This is so bad. Like, this looks like my first graphic design job. It's so terrible. And this probably wasn't even made in the 90s. This was probably... This version was probably made sometime in the 2000s. And it just looks so bad. But anyways. So we're now we're going to get to the swap. Alright, so first I'm going to do a quick test to make sure the console actually powers on. Yep. How do you reset it? Where's the reset button? Oh, it's this long tube. Kind of hard to do the reset trick without a reset button, huh? You just need something that size to get down in that and press that switch there. Let's see what I got. Preferably don't use something metal. Uh, just because. Let me make sure it works. Let me see if this works. Oh my god, that's perfect! A glue stick is perfect! The little things in life, right? Okay, so we got... We got our backup game. That's like the last thing we need. We got our burnt pseudo Saturn. I'm going to put that on first. And then we'll get our game ready to go. Alright. First thing I need to do, turn the volume all the way down. You don't need volume for this. You need to hear the laser itself. So I have the the cart here ready to go. It's not pushed down though. So it's just just loosely there, Saturn there. So here's what we're gonna do. Now I don't have like a good camera, so I can't show both the TV screen and the thing. So I'm just gonna get to the. This is the meat of the, the mod here. This is take one.
All right, that was a fail. Take two. Nope, fail. Let's just take three. I really hate doing this because I know it's not good for the motor, but it's it's only to make things better. Attempt number trace. Damn it. Take four. Nope. Take seven. Take eight. Take nine. All right, we're going to take a break. All right, so I burned another copy of the CD just, just in case. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. Maybe it was a bad burn. Take, what is this, 11? Nothing. Let's take 12. Take 13. Lucky 13. Let's do it. Big old Nopariano. Take 14. I'm going to watch the laser this time. Yeah, that is some tight timing there. Take 15. Oh, that was bad. Fudge nuggets. Take uh, 16, I think. Boop! Take 20, maybe. And there you have it. It's booting the game. Take 21. 20, lucky 21. Blackjack. Take 22. Lucky 22. Take 23, I think this is. Take 24. Take 24. Lucky 24. Oh, shit. All right. Take 27. Take uh, 20 million. 27. 28. Maybe. Take 29. Here we go. Let's do it. All right. This is about an attempt 30, I believe. Just got to keep trying. I've been reading online and stuff, and, like, everyone's just like, hey, man, it's really hard to do with this swap trick with the with this disc because there's no data on it. So I'm just going to keep trying. You know, hey. All part of the modding. I've had more frustrating modding experiences with other consoles, so so far it's not too bad. Nope. Nope. Man. Attempt number way a lot. Man, I hope I don't blow my laser doing this. Blow my laser. It sounds like a like a robot. Like at a robot strip club. I hope I don't blow my laser. I went out and bought new CDs from Staples, thinking maybe it was the CDs. Okay, well, these CDs are bootleg. It's one of those days, man. You know, I was watching people do this online on tutorials, and they're like, oh, first try. Oh, I'm calling BS on that. Now, when I get it, I'm going to say I got first try, but it's not. And I have video evidence of that that you'll never see. You know, this feels like, <clears throat> this feels like when... Um, I used to skateboard when I was a, like a teenager and I wasn't ever really good. I was actually pretty good, but my friends that all skateboard with me, they got better way faster than I did. So I'm still trying to learn how to ollie and they're like learning how to kick flip and watching them like master the ollie and then move on to different tricks. And I'm sitting there still trying to learn how to ollie. That's what I feel like right now. I'm trying to do this stupid trick the swap trick and everyone's playing their backups i know my cat's been here because there's a piece of litter right here checking this format checking it twice gonna find out which disc is naughty you're nice this disc is naughty oh yeah all right unsuitable just like me <laughs> for this for this trick i evidently oh this is a fun game it's called trying to get your saturn to boot a bootleg disc and I'm losing I'm doing something wrong man obviously <laughs> I almost want to just buy one of those mod chips oh my god <laughs> this is so frustrating dude well the inside's really clean I mean there's just a little bit of dust bunnies here you know but not bad I'm keeping the dust because it's from Japan oh boy here we go. First try, baby. I'm going to try this method I saw online. So you let the Saturn boot and you let it run on the bootleg disc until it gets to like CD unreadable. So you're going to wait for that. It takes a couple seconds because it's all like, oh, is this a real CD? What's going on? Why would someone want to pirate our beautiful software? Or Sega? We're never going to go out of business. So we're in the checking disc format screen on the beautiful 
actually this is a really cool like little start or what do you call it like main menu thing for a game console so you want to let it do its thing read it and then it's eventually going to say hey this cd isn't for this console get out of here go try that with the dreamcast and then you put your legitimate game in here like so beautifully and you hit reset and then once you do you listen for three movements of the laser and then you wait a second and you put the disc in and you get back to the screen where, where you fail come on laser read it laser i don't know why i want to punch everything in the face right now but i feel bad for this cd laser man this thing is getting ripped up I can't believe how many times I was so honestly like, this is going to be easy. I'm good at this stuff. Oh, you're so good at this. Oh, too slow. Too slow. Oh, that was bad. That was way too slow. Damn it. All right, well, I found some more discs in the attic. At my, at, my attic. So, now let's try these. I don't know. <sighs> I love... The Sega Saturn. Alright, so... Can't really see too well. There's pretty big glare on the TV, but... I made it! Finally, dude. I was about to kill myself. Anyway, hit R. Here we go. Firmware Flasher. It said Kai Light, I believe. For use with S... Okay, yeah. So you want to use... Action Replay. So you want to use Kai Light. So let's go ahead... Do a little Nintendo Blow on it. Okay, make sure it's in there nice and firm. We're gonna go to Kai Light. A. Alright, A B all right, here we go. A B C to initialize. Oh my god. We're finally doing it, people. We're finally doing it. This is probably one of the happiest moments of my life. You don't understand how many times I've done this. It's now oh my gosh, what time is it? I don't know, four o'clock? Yeah, it's 4 o'clock right now. I started doing this at 11. I actually took a lunch break because uh, I was getting so frustrated. And I went and got some lunch, and I came back, and I tried it again for another couple hours. I've tried so many different weird things. Like, I bought a new stack of discs. I went up in my attic, and I found another old stack of discs. Um, I got in my old laptop out, tried that burner, everything. And finally, it worked. And it worked on, like, what? The second disc I burnt with my old stack of discs. So it wasn't the discs. It was the operator. It was me. Here we go, baby. Here we go. I was waiting too long to swap the discs. That's what it was. I got frustrated, so I tried a import game. Because this is an import console, so I just tried a game, right? Because I know you can get the swap trick to work with games. You do this, so you don't have to keep doing a swap trick. Anyway, so I got that, and I finally, like, I, I swapped the discs before, and I normally did it, and it worked, so I tried it again with that. Like, my second try, I got it. I do it based on based on the visual cue, not the audi audible cue. I don't know. Different for everybody. Right verification, success! What, what? All right, hit start to exit. So here is a copy of, oh, wait, no, we're going to try. Oh, my God. Yes, we're going to try Die Hard Arcade, baby. Let's do it. Select game loader. Let's just try this one. I am so... Yes. I am so happy right now. Dude, I played this game so much when I was a kid. I'd go to the mall just to play this game. Give me like $10. I got like a roll of quarters. And I would just play this game. Non-stop. Until I ran out of quarters. And it was like $0.75 cents a play. So, yes. I remember this... Classic beat em up. Life up. Yes. No more quarters. Oh, I remember everything about this game. This is so fun. Oh, she's a tricky. You gotta watch out for her. Okay, yeah, I guess I can't carry. Okay, this is what's got me. Quick time event. This is the first game I played with quick time events. I don't know what button that is. I guess that's a B, <laughs> I guess. So if you fail the quick time event, you have to like fight more people. 
I'm actually doing way better than I used to when I was a kid. All right, so I got her all back together. She's looking great. Took a couple Q-tips, uh, gently went around some of the internals, and just kind of got a little bit of the, this fresh Japanese dust. Oh, yeah. Anyways, um, I also picked this up. Um, I'm hoping it'll help improve the picture quality a little bit. I played a couple games, um, and they didn't come through too well over just regular comp composite, so hoping this S video will help. But I got this on Amazon. Um, this was like really the only option. There's probably better ones out there, but they're probably really expensive, like official brand or whatever. But uh, yeah, so that was it, man. I tell you what, it was definitely harder than I thought. The Model 2 disc squat was a challenge, but we got it done. I got it done. Uh, I didn't get it on video. I was to the point where I was really frustrated. I was just trying repeatedly, and I and I kept running out of space on my phone's memory. So, anyways, <clears throat> I but I did do it pretty much exactly the way I was trying with the reset trick. Uh, with the I, I call it the soft reset trick. Um, so, anyways, it's great. I love it so far. I'm gonna have a great time playing with it. I don't see me like modding it too much more. I don't really want to paint it or anything. I might do a little, I might try a retro bright experiment on it, but I will do the controller first. But anyways, um, yeah, that's about it. If I do anything else with this bad boy, I'll let you guys know, but yeah, stay tuned for more cool, uh, stuff.